What's up everybody and welcome back to Analyzing the Greats, where we look at some of the greatest distance runners of all time and try to analyze exactly what made them so great. Today, we'll be looking at Paul Turgot of Kenya, who Runner's World called the most comprehensive runner of all time. And to understand why Runner's World gave him this title, you really only need to look at his personal best to see why. From the 3000 meters all the way up to the marathon, Turgot certainly has an incredible set of personal bests. Additionally, Turgot won five consecutive world cross-country titles from 1995 all the way up to 1999. Turgot also set three world records over the course of his career. In 1997, he broke the 10,000 meter world record by running a time of 26 minutes, 27 seconds. Also in 2003, Turgot set a new marathon world record by running a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 55 seconds, which made him the first person ever to break 2 hours and 5 minutes for the marathon. Paul Turgot is certainly a great athlete, and I think Runner's World was totally correct in calling him the most comprehensive runner of all time. Alright guys, let's go ahead and watch some of his videos and see what we can learn. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the first video we're going to look at today is the 1997 World Cross Country Championships ran in Torino, Italy. And previously Paul Turgot had won the 1995 and 1996 World Cross Country Championships, so coming into this race, he was probably expected to win. But I want to look at this race because the strategic methods of Paul Turgot are very interesting, and also the Kenyan team uh, as well, because as you can see, they come out just blistering pace. They probably are going like close to four minutes a mile here within, you know, a hundred yards of the start. All of the Kenyans, except for Paul Turgot, have separated themselves. And I thought that was really interesting because he kind of hangs, um, you know, maybe in the top 50, top 30, um, but he never goes out super, super hard. He's a very, very smart racer. And, you know, I, I respect him for that. I think he, he runs the race really well. And for the first five minutes of this race, you don't even see him, but right here, going through the 4K mark, you see him, and they're flying. They're sub-250 per kilometer on cross-country, which is really rolling. And we're going to get a good opportunity to take a look at his stride here, because later in the race, as you can see, it's 26 minutes into the race here, um, he's up more predominantly uh, pushing the pace up, in, up near the lead. Um, and Mr. Paul Turgot has a really unique stride because he's actually six feet tall so he's definitely taller than a lot of athletes he kind of has this almost like sort of uh, it's not an effortless stride by any stretch he sort of has this grinding stride and by that I mean he it looks like he's um, he's using his arms his arms are very involved as you can see but while he does look like he's sort of pushing constantly it also is simultaneously kind of relaxed it's interesting um he's very he, he's smooth with his landing but his arms are always sort of super involved and that next to him is Safan Hissou I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly from Morocco he and him had a little uh, little rivalry in cross country um but yeah I, I think his uh, his methods here paid off really well because uh his um his ability to sort of hold back uh, in, in the early stages of the race gave him the ability to hold form later in the race and push the pace. And even though he's six foot tall, he's very athletic in his stride. He's very involved. He's very balanced. And with 100 meters to go here, look at this kick. Wow. You do not see a kick like that in cross country too much. Well, you might, but I don't know. I, I, <laughs> looking back at Paul Turgat, I forgot he had a good kick. Like, he really does have a solid kick. So that's a pretty awesome race for him. And now moving on, we're going to the 10,000 meter world record that he set back in 1990. What year did he set this? I believe it's 1997. Yes, that's correct, 1997. Um, and this is not the previous world record. This is not the current world record, I should say. But um, he was the first person to ever go under 26 minutes and 30 seconds, so it's pretty noteworthy. And with a lap to go here, this is him when he's starting to make his move, and you'll get a chance to slow down here and take a look at his stride. Um, he lands with his foot kind of out in front of him. A lot of runners have a foot landing right underneath him, uh, and because of that, he sort of he doesn't have a heel strike necessarily, but he lands in the very in the middle of his foot. So he's upright, tall, nice and tall, trying to stay relaxed, which I totally love a tall runner, um, a runner that can stay tall rather. But um, coming down the home stretch here, he's ready to start rolling, and we'll get a chance to look at his slow down uh, slow down version of his uh, final 100 meters. And I don't know, I, it's an interesting stride because it's not. Uh, his foot clearly lands out right way in front of him, and it kind of does look like he heel strikes a tiny bit. Nothing super uh, negative, though, but, you know, he's still he's still able to really crank out some great speed. He does have a really cool kick, and when he does do that kick, his back, his arms do pull back quite significantly. 
and we'll actually get a chance to see that in this race as well. And I had to put this race in here because this arguably is one of his most important races of his career. This is the 2000, 10,000 meter finals at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia. And this really was a showdown between Paul Turgot and Haile Geber Selassie of Ethiopia. And this race really was, I don't want to say it was a jogger's race for the first half of the race, but um, certainly wasn't a significant amount of early pressing. And, you know, with 800 meters to go here, no one's really making a move until about 250 to go. And Paul Turgot takes off. You know, he's lost patience. He's making his move right here. And him in full stride is really beautiful. And coming up is probably the fastest finish I've ever seen him have. Get ready. Look how high his knee comes up in the front. Look at his arms absolutely rolling. Looking back at this, I'm amazed Haile Gibber Selassie was able to outkick him. Still a great race for both of these men. And Paul got great kick. Really has a great kick. So congratulations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to give Paul Turgot of Kenya a score. And remember, our scoring system is on a scale of 1 to 100, with 100 being perfect, a perfect distance runner. Has not happened yet on this channel, but let's take a look at his score. So, here are my thoughts. For running mechanics, I give him a 9, because I think he does this back and forth, kind of swayed slightly when he runs, and I think his arms are a little bit more involved than would be optimal for a distance runner. So for that, I gave him a 10. Or, excuse me, I gave him a 9. For mental toughness, gave him a 10. I think he's super tough. Strong kick. I gave him a 10 here because, I mean, you saw in cross country, he's got a solid kick. It just so happens that on the track, Gibber Selassie was there to have a slightly better kick, just barely better. Um, so even though he was out kicked, that doesn't mean I'm not going to give him a 10. So I gave him a 10 there. Career longevity, I also gave him a 10 because he was really um, on the top of the world from 1995 all the way up until 2009. You got to remember, he was a marathon expert. He broke the world record in the marathon. First man to go under two hours, five minutes. So for that reason, I gave him a 10 there. Championship performances, gave him a 9 here. Even though he was a five consecutive time world cross country champion from 1995 to 1999, I think on the track he struggled just a little bit comparatively to his counterparts. And for that, I gave him a 9. Running range, got to give him a 10. Sub 733,000. He was the world record holder from the 10K, half marathon, and the marathon during his career. I mean, amazing. Tactical awareness. Gave him a 10 here also because I think he knows that his strengths are in his uh, endurance, not necessarily his kick, even though he does have a pretty solid kick. Um, I had to give him the, the 10 of the tactical awareness because he knows and he's very intuitive about his uh, running style and the way that he is going to optimally bring his performance to the track and the cross country and the roads. So I gave him a 10. There it is. Personal bests, got to give him a 10. Um, again, the world records that he set were amazing. He's got, I mean, he might be top two, three for running resume. Amazing times. Same thing with records broken, got to give him a 10. Um, 5K, 1249, 3000, under 730. Obviously, the marathon and the half marathon and the 10K were pretty stellar as well. Um, so many, three world records in his career, amazing runner, got to give him a 10. And lastly, adaptation, I gave him a 10 here also. I think over the course of his career, he was able to adapt to the changes in his career. Cross country, he was clearly dominant when he got to the roads in the marathon and the half marathon. He was super dominant there as well. So I think that 10 is completely justified and overall, that puts Paul Turgot at 98. That is an excellent score. That only puts him behind three previous athletes that we've looked at. And that's Hisham El Garouj, Kennedy Smikaly, and Haile Geber Selassie. So that's, um, yeah, that's a solid score. That's an A-plus for Paul Turgot. And his runner's world called him the most comprehensive runner of all time. And I gotta say, I completely agree with that. So, um, what do you think, guys? Is this, um, is this too high, too low? What do you think um, now that you've seen some Paul Turgot footage? You might already be familiar with him, but I would love to hear your feedback. And yeah. That is Paul Turgot of Kenya. Really appreciated all these uh, recommendations. Really fun athlete to look at. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And also, comment below runners you want me to take a look at. I've got a lot of recommendations pending. Always open for new ones. So, again, thanks very much, guys. Like the video, and I will see you next time.